Orly. Now, tense moments in a middle school in Putnam County as a resource officer arrested a seventh grader who the deputies say had a loaded gun. The officer was acting on a tip, and deputies say the gun had been reported stolen. News 4 Jacks normally wouldn't identify a minor charged with a crime, but we're making an exception tonight because the child was charged with two serious felonies. We're also identifying 12 year old Jaden Maurice Smith in the story because Putnam County Sheriff. Gator Deloach says Smith put his schoolmates' lives in danger, including the sheriff's son, who also attends that school. News for Jackson reporter Eric Avignon is joining us live. And Eric, you talked to not only the sheriff, but the officer who arrested Jaden and concerned parents. That is correct. In fact, the parents I spoke with uh, who have children that attend this school say they were shocked when they learned a seventh grader was armed with a concealed handgun in class. But those same parents also say that they were relieved knowing that a resource officer quickly took that child into custody. C.H. Price Middle School Resource Officer Colby Eads says he knew he had to spring into action the moment he got a tip about a student in possession of a loaded handgun. Uh, my initial reaction was to immediately find it and ensure that whatever was happening was not going to be a threat to anybody on campus. Investigators tell News for Jax that 12 year old Jaden Smith had the loaded gun tucked inside his waistband. There is a, a very distinct possibility that uh, an unsecured weapon like that could very easily fall out and if he had no malicious intent uh, it could have fallen into the wrong hands. How Smith obtained the gun and why he brought it to school is still a question that is yet to be answered. And according to detectives, the gun was reported stolen from another county. Deputies also believe Smith had been in possession of the weapon for the last couple of days. Parents we spoke with say they couldn't believe this happened. I was scared beyond belief as soon as I got the call, but I pick her up from school. And whenever I came and picked her up, there were so many police officer officers here already. I knew it was taken care of. This is not acceptable. So everyone should know that this is not something that will be taken lightly. Sheriff Deloach took it one step further by putting all parents on notice. It's time for parents to take up and take or step up and take some responsibility for their children and ensure that they're not bringing things to school that they shouldn't. Right now, Smith, right now, Smith is currently uh, being transported to a juvenile detention center in Volusia County. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.